Standard Investment Bank has just is just celebrating 25 years since it was licensed. It was licensed in 1994 under the name Standard Stocks Limited as a stockbroker. Uh, that's when the license came through. It started trading in 1995, and uh, for 10 years it traded as uh, Standard Stocks. In 2005, uh, Standard Investment uh, Standard Stocks converted into an investment bank. It got uh, a, a license as a as an investment bank. Between 2005 to date, that's a period of 15 years. Standard Investment Bank has done a lot of work. We have been an advisor to many organizations, including state corporations. It did uh, one prominent one uh, that we were part of the advisory team was a Kenji in 2005. It was the first major uh, IPO uh, where we were directly involved in, its, uh, in the management of the transaction. In the last 15 years, we have done over 100 uh, transactions, uh, cutting from small ones to the big ones. Um, we have also done privatizations. We have done private uh, uh, placement or private, uh, you know, uh, uh, transfer of value from private hands into uh, public companies. We have. So today we have uh, a fairly uh, elaborate uh, process. We are still doing the old stuff that we have been doing, uh, trading in bonds, uh, both government bonds, corporate bonds, uh, securities and uh, advisory wealth management. We have people who do, for example, just manage a few clients, a few big clients. Uh, the latest that we have and which is very exciting for us, is what we call the global markets. The mathematics of uh, who is uh, doing bigger than the others actually started in 2008, when uh, Safaricom uh, was, uh, came in as, with an IPO. Prior to that, uh, our market was essentially domestic. Uh, there were still foreign trades, but there were very few. But after Safaricom, because of the hype that it's created, uh, a lot of foreigners started coming in, buying and selling. And today, as you have rightly said, foreigners uh, constitute a very big portion of what is traded on a daily basis on the Nairobi Security Exchange. After 2009, uh, because of what you call the global financial crisis, there was a crash down of the market. The market went down in terms of pricing. A lot of people lost money. A lot of Kenyans uh, shied off from the market. And it's important to note that uh, we have, they have not fully recovered. The people who lost money at the time, uh, many of them don't want to trade in the market because they still fear that they may lose money. But uh, unfortunately, the foreigners have taken advantage of this. Foreigners uh, have billions of dollars uh, to to deal with. If, even if they set aside to, uh, you know, $10 million, uh, to them is something a very tiny. And even if they lost, to them the risk is small. But for locals, that's a lot of money. So we have seen a lot of uh, foreigners that are dominating our market. It requires a lot of awareness creation. Uh, and my appeal is that uh, because a lot of locals have made money in the past, it doesn't mean that they cannot make money today and in the days to come. So we can only encourage um, local people, local uh, domestic investors, to start being active, more active in our market than, than we see now. Currently, we are not satisfied. Because say what happened in uh, 10 years ago or 12 years ago, we saw a lot of participation. There were... Uh, hundreds, uh, literally thousands of trades every day. If you go back to, say, 2008, 2009, there were possibly 30, 40, 50,000 trades in a day. Most of it from little uh, investors in our, in our market. But this has dropped uh, so significantly. That it is not even a quarter 
of what it used to be. So my appeal to the local people is therefore to rethink in the stock market. Uh, you can actually realize value almost immediately when you need it. It's a matter of a maximum of two, three days and you have your cash. But it requires a change of mindset and we are happy that uh, we have a product like the global market that uh, I earlier mentioned, which is an alternative, uh, which I believe uh, should be able to help uh, with, uh, you know, uh, with this change of mind. Because it's a mindset thing. Uh, that distribution channel that we used in the past was basically face-to-face. -face. Uh, people walk into an, our offices when they want to buy or sell securities. And uh, gradually this is changing with uh, enabled uh, instruments, uh, that, uh, technology enabled instruments, so that we now it is possible to trade from wherever you are, uh, depending on uh, how savvy you are on technology. Mm -hmm. And this, this is speaking, in fact, I can see, uh, you know, the face-to-face -face or personal touch uh, kind of investment fading to almost nothing in, that, in the coming days. We see technology as the way to go. Uh, our, our own products uh, will, will be uh, gradually be made more and more available electronically. In fact, this is something that we have been thinking. Our unit trust uh, program uh, uh, will definitely more or less almost fully rely on electronic platforms. The world is changing and Kenya is not being left behind. Uh, in fact, especially in the area of technology, Kenya is fairly well uh, endowed in terms of young people uh, and even uh, applications that are available uh, for use by Kenyans. A lot of Kenyans now can use uh, technology and this is going to be the future of our markets.